My name is Mike Carmen. I'm the Summit Weather Operations Manager for the Mount Washington Observatory. 2025 was a really big year for us at the observatory, specifically for the Summit Weather Station. We continued our tried and true forecasting products that we've been putting out for years, specifically our higher summits weather forecast. Uh, but we're also seeking to continually improve on that product and also expand to reach uh, new audiences with our weather expertise as well. So in 2025, uh, we launched several new products to, to wider audiences, including statewide forecasts through New Hampshire Public Radio, through the Radio Vermont Group, and through Conway Broadcasting as well. So uh, we're really hoping to reach a wider audience that finds some sort of enjoyment in being in the outdoors uh, in the White Mountains region, in the region that uh, we have this specific knowledge in. This includes uh, launching a new recreational forecast as well, which is specifically aimed at folks enjoying the White Mountains, enjoying the outdoors, skiing, hiking, camping, snowmobiling, hunting, and uh, we're seeking to give them more knowledge, more resources uh, to make the most out of those experiences and really reach them even before they even set foot in their car, uh, knowing that a lot of folks are coming from quite a distance away sometimes to the White Mountains. We're hoping our, our forecast can reach them uh, so they can make good decisions um, and uh, make the most out of their uh, backcountry experiences. One of the other new products we are launching this year is some seasonal forecasting um, as well, which is supported by research that we're doing. And one of the products that works into that is our White Mountains Almanac, uh, which was produced through a lot of intern, some intern research that, we, that we've done over the winter and spring. And this is just another tool um, for folks to use as they go into the backcountry um, and look for you know, long-term trends in how their outdoor recreation opportunities uh, may be changing a little bit um, as we go on in time. So now as we move into 2026, uh, we're looking to expand even more as far as our forecasting goes in both products and, and areas we're covering. In order to do this, uh, we're excited to be launching a new broadcast meteorology internship program. And this will be specifically focused on all of these new forecasts, some of which we already launched in 2025, but new ones we plan to launch in 2026, uh, including some new streamable forecasts that you'll be able to watch uh, over video, which we're really excited about. This kind of works into this larger theme of reaching a larger audience um, and really uh, taking our products to the next level as far as professionalism and accuracy goes. We're also integrating new resources uh, as a means to make those products as accurate and precise as they can be. Um, specifically, we're continuing to expand our, our regional mesonet. So more mesonet stations and more complex terrain means we'll be able to uh, better model and predict the weather um, in the White Mountains and further beyond. We're also launching a new LIDAR, uh, which will help us model the atmosphere and, and allow our meteorologists to gain a better understanding of the atmospheric dynamics that are at work um, on and around Mount Washington. And we're also continuing to collaborate with the Rue Institute uh, to better communicate uh, the forecasts that we produce and make them more uh, meaningful and more easily digestible um, by the public. All of this work is really supported um, by ongoing uh, research that's happening at the Summit Weather Station. The research that's happening at the Summit Weather Station is being translated into meaningful improvements in a lot of our forecasting products. And this work could not be possible uh, without our dedicated Summit interns who are really digging in deep, digging into the nitty gritty of the data and the analysis and giving us results that we can then adapt and put into our forecasts. And so that internship program is really a, a critical part of all of this forecasting work. So as we wrap up 2025, we really thank you for your continued support, uh, which makes the expansion into all these new areas and these new forecasting products possible. Uh, so we heartily thank you as we go into 2026 and break new ground with some of these forecasts. And be sure to listen for these new products and listen for our new meteorologists out on the airwaves.